What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with my brand new gaming setup and room tour for the summer of 2016. Real quick for starters, before we get into the setup itself, this is where I am sitting in front of the camera when I'm talking about you know reviews and stuff with my setup in the background. Um, I've, I've talked about my camera stuff in the past, I won't waste too much time on it. This is the Black Magic Ursa Mini. This is what I film all of my stuff on. I'll, I'll put this in the description down below, pretty much along with everything else in this video. Um, on top, I'm using the Sigma 18 35 art lens. Very popular, got a follow focus on that as well. You can see that very bright light in the back, which is gonna do most of the lighting for my, uh, my room. Uh, I have it on a Manfrotto. Uh, I'm not sure the model number, again, down below, but sticks and the head, which is great. Also have it on the Rhino Arc and the Rhino Slider here. This is what's going to get me those really cool panning shots in a lot of my videos where I'm not physically moving the camera. And with the Rhino Arc, it helps me uh, pan the camera all while staying focused on me, whatever subject I'm filming. It's a really, really cool product. I love that. I control it all with this. Got the Blackmagic Video Assist down here so I can actually see what I'm filming and stuff. And then just to round this one out, my mic is the Sennheiser MKE 600. Have it up there so when I'm sitting down, I can pick up my voice perfectly. And of course, the YouTube logo, or the YouTube uh, 1,000, 1, no, 100,000, my bad, uh, subscriber plaque there. Now we will talk about the main, main thing. The gaming setup, my productivity setup, my pretty much everything that I do here, whether it's working on stuff for the channel, getting some emails done, I do everything here. This is the setup that runs the channel. Um, if you've been a fan of the channel, you've probably been following the whole Building My Insane Gaming Setup series. This is the IKEA Carlby 98 inch countertop. It is a beauty. I love the nice wooden finish, and especially with like the warm lighting in the background. It just looks really, really nice. Kind of even like reflects the LED lights behind the monitors. Just a beauty of a countertop that I used as a desk. And on each side, I have the IKEA. I believe they're the Alex drawers. So I have them. I used to have it just the countertop just sitting on top of the drawers, but it was still too kind of low uh, with my chair. It didn't really you know feel right to me, so I propped it up on these little furniture legs. I get a lot of questions about these, so again, I'll put them down below as well. And that helps elevate the desk. So when I'm sitting down, my elbows and everything are perfectly aligned with my desktop. So this is none of this is supposed to be a desk. This is pretty much all just like you know that's like a bedroom drawer set and the countertop but together it makes the perfect desk setup I think I love it. it goes along with my white and kind of wooden theme and just looks great I mentioned my chair I am using the Herman Miller M body it is very very expensive yes people might not be able to justify the purchase but for the amount of time I'm in this chair whether it's you know gaming on here video editing etc this thing is amazing I never feel like my my back is getting too sore I do have a problem with my lower fifth lumbar so usually when I'm sitting down for a while my back really really hurts with this it's not a problem at all a great great chair and I got it for a discount which is awesome now we'll start with the uh, the PC, then work all the way over with the peripherals, monitors, etc. This is my iBuy Power Revolt 2 PC. I got this a few months ago, but I didn't start using it until I moved in to the new apartment with this setup, and I personally love it. Some people might prefer my older H440 case, but I love this because it is literally almost half the size smaller. It is very compact. I love the white and black angular shape to it as well. I think it looks really cool. And since this lifts open and stuff, it just, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of this case. I have the uh, MSI 1080 Armor graphics card inside, a nice white and black GPU with their MS, or the, uh, with the iBuyPower uh, lighting strip inside, which you can change on the fly when their software. It's really cool. Also from cable mods, I have another LED light strip in there as well to get double the lights going on. 
always good. Also have some backlighting and underglow. Just makes the PC look really cool. Um, inside this I also have the Intel i7 6700K CPU on an MSI motherboard, 32 gigs of RAM, and then like I said, the uh, MSI Armor 8G graphics card. So I will put, as I said before, everything you're seeing in this video, all the specs in the description down below. But I love this case. I think it looks awesome. And of course, I've got the Random Frank P 3D logo on front. Just, you know, add some uh, personalization to it. Now coming over to some of the peripherals, these don't really change too often. The keyboard probably changes every now and then, but these are my go-tos. This is the Logitech G502 Proteus Spectrum mouse. I've been using this thing for probably close to two years now, and I just can't help but use this over everything else I've tried or tested. Hands down, my favorite mouse of all time. Feels great in my hands. I love the infinite scrolling wheel. It's just my favorite mouse. There's no really <laughs> beating around that. And then for my keyboard, this changes every now and then, but ever since I've used this, I haven't switched. This is the Corsair Gaming K70 RGB Rapid Fire Keyboard. It's got those rapid fire switches inside, which are quicker than normal cherry switches. So if you're playing games, even like gaming online, it'll give you an advantage because the switches are faster to type on or game on or whatever. And I just love this keyboard. It looks really nice. The RGB lights inside help me, you know, change it so I could, you know, make it whatever color effects I want. It's really cool. Have it blue now to match the, the lighting effects behind the monitors and stuff. Just, you know, extra aesthetics. Uh, before this, I was using the regular K70 RGB. Then I was using the Strafe RGB. And now, like I said, the Rapid Fire is my go-to. This is just on a extended mouse pad on my desk in black. I've had a white extended mouse pad for the past few weeks, but uh, I, I just like the black better. Fits in, fits in nicer overall, I think. And for games like Rocket League, No Man's Sky, uh, I've got the, uh, the Lunar White controller for the Xbox One. I don't know, just the white and gold looks really nice. Fits in with the PC color. Blah, blah, blah. Over here is my amp and DAC, and this is the Grace Design M9XX. I love this because on the front it has a little display where it tells you the volume, and on top is a little volume knob, so just very easily I can adjust the volume on the fly. And typically my go-to driver for that, my daily pair of headphones, especially when gaming, is the AKG K7XX. I love these because not only are they really lightweight, but the drivers sound amazing. And the fact that they're open back makes this really awesome when I'm gaming. It sounds like I'm literally in the middle of the battlefield, etc. So those are my go-to pair when gaming. But when I'm video editing, I can also switch it up and I use my Audio-Technica M50X headphones in white. They are professional studio monitoring headphones. That's why I use them to, you know, do my video editing, my audio editing. And they are, you know, they're, they're portable, they're compact. You can bring them with you on the go. They look nice, and I, I love the white and black combo I got going on. Definitely a great pair of headphones. And before we move on to other things, it's quick stuff behind here. You guys know, gotta have some green in your setup, so I have this little uh, cube here. I'll put this all down below. Some air plants inside. A little uh, portal sentry turret there. I think it looks cool. It fit in with my last setup with it being all white. I liked it, wanted to include it again. And the Naughty. I've always talked about this thing. It's this little notification device. It's white, it looks cool. Say I'm getting a phone call, it'll light up green. Or if I'm getting a text message, it'll pulse green. If someone sent me an email, it'll light up red. If I got a tweet, it'll light up blue. It's pretty much this just really modern, geometric looking notification device. So say I'm in like a long gaming session or I'm video editing for a while, I'm not looking at my phone. I can stay up to date just by having the Naughty alert me. A great thing, under 50 bucks. One of my favorite tech items of 2015, because it came out last year. <laughs> Now into the monitors, and yes, I have the triple monitor orientation here with the two ultra wides on the bottom and the overhead ultra wide. The bottom two are LG's uh, 34 inch ultra wides, it's the LG 34 UC98. I have them overclocked to 80, I, feel like, I believe 81 hertz a piece. They're both 3440 by 1440p displays. Great color representation. Again, with it being overclocked, I can get more FPS out of my games. Then on the overhead, I'm not 100% sure of the model, but it is a Samsung curved ultra wide monitor as well. So when I'm sitting down, I just have these really awesome curved monitors in front of me, pretty much spanning to my entire peripheral vision. 
huge fan of the way they look and when I have them all set up like this, just the setup comes to life. I couldn't be happier with the way it all came out and with the, uh, the choice of monitors I went with here. And then above those are my Canto YU5 speakers. They are awesome. Again, they're nice glossy white to fit in with my setup's theme. I can connect them via Bluetooth like my smartphone or my laptop or just have them playing the audio from my PC. If I'm saying this around the room editing or something, I can blast some music. I'm usually for like when I'm gaming, like I said, I'll use the headphones, but these are just awesome to have up there. Have them mounted. They have great, great sound quality. And underneath my desk is the little subwoofer down there. Haven't been able to push this guy to its fullest potential because we have you know, neighbors and stuff below us and on the side of us. This thing gets loud, even at the lowest setting, so I don't want to be shaking the whole complex, really. But the, the combination with these speakers and the subwoofer, great, great stuff. I love those. Then up top, I have these little geometric figures. I, th I think it kind of like you know completed the looks of the setup that I was going for, so I like that. Real quick, I'll show you behind. Like I said, I have the uh, the studio monitor speakers mounted. Have all these the monitors mounted as well with these brackets. So uh, say I'm sitting here and I want to have just one monitor in front of me instead of you know just having the two, I could pull it out and adjust it so I have one straight in front of my face. Usually when I'm gaming though, I will set one monitor, for example, uh, so say this one to the game that I'm playing this one I'll have be like whatever uh, Say like OBS or something all the streaming dashboard and stuff there up top I'll just have like Spotify or Twitter or something to stay alert So I do use all three screens when I am streaming or gaming But um, if I wanted to with like say battlefield or something or recently I was doing with no man's sky I could set both of the bottom two monitors to whatever the game I'm playing to be just completely surrounded by the monitors Which is awesome and like I said, behind the monitors, I have just an RGB light strip to add some extra glow to the setup at night. With all the lights on now, it's hard to see, but obviously I could change the colors of them, etc. Like down here, whatever color I want it to be, I could, you know, just change that. Uh, this, like I said before, with the cable mods lights inside. Uh, this, the blue one that's pulsing now is the iBuy Power lights, but with this I could change, have it white. Let's see. Uh, you know, like blue green, light blue, pink, I can make it do like certain lighting effects and stuff like that. I can also change the lighting and the effects for the one that's already pre-installed. So it gives me a lot of flexibility with terms of the lights. Uh, at night it all looks really cool. And I think for everything here, all the stuff that I have, all the gear, it takes a lot of power to run all this and the only real cable you could see is right there, which is just a cable channel hiding all the cables. So you figure I have the three monitors plugged in, HDMI, display port, the power bricks, everything here, and that's the only thing you could see. So I'm, I'm happy with overall my cable management and how it all turned out. In the middle of my desk, I do have a little hole drilled so I can route the cables from my keyboard and mouse down there so you don't have cables draped across the desk. Overall, like I said, very, very happy with it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up, guys, for my gaming setup and little room tour for the summer of 2016. This is my brand new setup. Hope you guys have been following along with the series for the past month. So since I moved, I've been building this. And uh, this whole dedicated YouTube room for gaming and video editing and stuff like that, it's really, really come together. And I'm really happy with the final results. I think that's going to wrap it up, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Like I said, check the description down below if you want to find out some of the products that I have here. I'll have it all listed for you. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up to show your support. You can follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. Lastly, if you haven't already, don't forget, hit that subscribe button for more videos and tech reviews, room tours, all that good stuff. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.